first I just heard hissing and then <laughs> and then I looked down I'm wondering and it's like <laughs> Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX. We're back on our way to the East Cut. This time around, I am so excited. I have some special guests with me and hopefully the camera is able to capture in, in this angle, we'll be able to capture everyone involved here. But I have some Channel 5 crews with me. I have my buddy, oh, first of all, let me lower the, we're, we're traveling in caravan over here and everybody's talking around here. But right next to me, I have Raul. Castellan, Raul is the assignments uh, editor there, assignments manager for Channel 5 News. And uh, I've known Raul since I was uh, pretty much a, a kid, man. You know, when I started, when I started in the TV business, you know, back in 1990. And so he's a lifetime friend and uh, my mentor from back then. And now I have him here with me. He's uh, actually shooting a little something for Con Mi Gente uh, that airs on Channel 5. Uh, so please be looking out for that. And in the back seat, I have Miss uh, Priscilla West. Yeah, creative services producer at Channel 5. Creative services producer at Channel 5 News and... Alex Montelongo, technical news director. Alex Montelongo, our TD, all right, from Channel 5. So these folks over here, they came on board. They're gonna be shooting some video and uh, they're here for the experience and they're here to learn as well. I hope that we can bring some sort of awareness uh, to uh, the valley and uh, we can tell you what we're trying to do. Uh, today, there's a bunch of us that got together, a bunch of us that got together, we're heading to the East Cut and we're gonna be doing some cleaning. We're gonna pick up some trash and the whole uh, purpose of that is, well, we wanna pay it back. We're always, always telling you about how we go over there. We have a lot of fun, we camp out, we fish. We enjoy the heck out of the East Cut, but we never give anything back. We only pick up our trash or whatever. Today, we're gonna dedicate the day to paying it back, man. Because you know, the East Cut gets neglected all the time. And this time around, hey, there's my boy, Paul Andrew. All right, these are the shark boys right here. These guys are the ones that, uh, yeah, I, I really digress, don't I? I'm, I it's like ADD. It's like a <laughs> squirrel. <Yeah. laughs> anyway, we're having a great time. Yeah. Guys, so far, what have you guys uh, learned so far? Have you learned anything? Have you experienced anything special? Yeah, I, I think um, what I found out uh, after talking with you um, is that this is more of having a good time. It's uh, recreational. I, I came into this thinking, you know, it's this big volunteer effort, um, which it is, but it's so much more than that. It's it's people getting together, um, uniting um, to have a good time, to explore, uh, and to do something positive, a, a positive impact um, on our on our beaches uh, by by cleaning them up. And so, uh, I I think it's awesome. Alex, what about you? I think it's pretty cool. I, mean, I haven't been out here that much. Out here, out here in East, in East Cut. But I mean, it, it's nice to know that people are out here cleaning and helping out for the, the environment. The, the the first time I saw it, it, was in, it wasn't that great. I saw a lot of trash and I really didn't like it. I spent some of the day cleaning. But it, it's real nice to know that there's a lot of people who care about the environment and actually spend their day cleaning the beaches. The, not only the parts that people come, but 
Those parts are way out there with the with the wildlife, with the actual animals from the sea, the sea turtles and all that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty disheartening though, uh, driving this way to yeah. see all of the trash that you know people were hanging out there, maybe camping out there, and they just leave their trash all over the place. It's really sad to see that. Raul, what about you, man? Well, I, I know I know you've been you've been all over the place, man. You are the valley. But yeah. I've never been out here. You know what? I'm excited. I got to see that uh, space alien. You know, my man with my buddy <laughs> making these weird videos. He's talking about the escape pod, the UFO. Yeah, but he, 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 I didn't believe in him, now I do. And I can't wait to see the naked folks out here. It's a myth. To me, it's a myth, but I'm going to find out if it's true. And most of all, I'm here with my friend, which I'm really covering today for Comi Gente. And we're going to find out a little bit more on what he's all about. That's, the, that's what I'm here for, a little bit. So what? So much about the trash. And that's why he brought me to the damn nude beach, man. That's how. That's that's how in depth the coverage is gonna be today. Just kidding, guys. I still don't believe it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might get lucky or unlucky. Or unlucky, yeah. <laughs> we continued on our way and stopped to check out some interesting landmarks on the way to the East Cut. The rest of the team continued forward and we caught up to them by the East Cut jetties. We decided to head west along the channel and came up with a cleanup strategy. As you guys know by now, we are all about the adventure. This trip didn't disappoint. Okay, so what happened with the Rattler? Tell me the Rattler story, he's gonna tell me that. Well, um, I, she saw it first, and then she went away, and then I didn't know that she had seen it, so then I went and I saw it. I mean, I didn't see it at first, I just heard hissing, and then, <laughs> and then I looked down, I'm wondering, and it's like, and looking at me, and I'm just like, I just walked away, slowly. And I think she had a very similar experience. Yeah, it was very similar. Um, I was trying to pick up trash near the tire of the Jeep, um, and when I heard hissing, I didn't realize where it was coming from, and I looked up, and once I looked up, its rattle started to shake, and I was like, that's not a normal snake. <laughs> so I'm going to walk back, and I retreated, and I made sure that I let the leader know to let everybody around the area, yeah. um, because that's kind of, one, unsafe, and then yeah. um, we found an egg in the... Um, back brush where there's also holes where there might be other snakes so you just have to be really attentive when doing this mm -hmm. yes <laughs> yeah you gotta keep your eyes open for real <laughs> yeah that's the first snake i've ever seen in my life <laughs> i knew rattlesnakes lived in the area but i never thought i would encounter one so close to the water's edge the snake was all camouflage and it was near impossible to detect with our eyes alone i thank god the slithery boy gave samantha and minerva a warning I hate to imagine an accident of this magnitude in such a remote area. This incident has made me think about an alternate method of communication for future excursions. Eliseo, a Coastal GX subscriber, was brave enough to keep the snake at bay while we cleaned up the area. This is the snake's home and we are merely visitors, so we didn't displace it or hurt it in any way. I took advantage of this time to talk to some of our awesome volunteers. We just got here and uh, the volunteers have already started. They've already started doing their thing. Uh, you got all these nice folks out here that took uh, time from their, their weekend to come in uh, and clean it up. As you can see, we have all of this. Look at this canopy over here. Now, if you remember it, a couple of, uh, well, my last video, I showed you there were a bunch of canopies out here. I got my buddy over here, Hector. Hector's new to the crew, but he cared enough, man. He watched the videos and he was like, you know what? I've been motivated to get out there and explore and uh, actually help out. And I've been watching your videos for some time and I just wanted to come out here, you know, and uh, get together with other like-minded people. Uh, but also come in and clean up some of the waste that uh, gets left out or uh, washed out by the sea. Have you ever been out here? Uh, no, not all the way out here. I've been to the beach many times, right? But I've never been to, uh, uh, to the East Cut. Uh, it's a pretty place. Uh, I like it. And uh, yeah, just excited to clean it up. I'm so glad that you brought your truck. 
Yeah. What are we going to do with your truck and <laughs> this canopy, bro? Hey, let's, let's load it up. You know, it's, it's good to go. Uh, let's fill it up as much as we can. I'm here with Ricardo, my son. Yeah, we were supposed to come out here last week, but uh, Cristobal kind of put a damper on, on those plans. And uh, I'm glad we were able to make it out this morning. Um, I ended up bringing out the old, the old Toyota back there, the gray one, because I knew it would get me, get me to where I needed to be, you know? Uh, I wanted to bring out the GX, but uh, maybe next time we'll bring out the stock GX. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how high the water was gonna be, so. But yeah, we made it out here, I'm glad. This is the first time I, I've been out here to these cut once, one other time about 15 years ago, we did some fishing off the jetties, but this is Ricardo's first time being out here. And he wants to get in the water, so we're gonna pick up a little bit of trash and try to get him in the water. This is our first time here. These guys, we watched videos uh, re reported by Robert and his gang here, and, and it looked exciting. And, you know, even though the COVID-19 is still going on, I said, you know what, we've been sheltered too long. The girls were like, we need to go out somewhere. So I said, hey, you know what, we've been watching these videos. I said, that looks like fun, and we've never been here. So I said, you know what, let me see, you know, go to Facebook and all the social media and find out more information about it. And I put him, put uh, Roberto, and found him on the Facebook and right away he friended me. And then from that point on, we've been communicating and we we're going to do this last Saturday when it was free fishing. And because of the tropical depression that was coming over here, it didn't work out. So, but uh, we're here now. Beautiful day. Lots of people here. Uh, and so far so good. It's been an adventure. It's, it's fun. It's something different for all of us. A lot of people don't realize that um, there is no authority in charge of coming and cleaning up after anyone. It's entirely up to us who comes here to clean up after yourselves. And Plus, I don't think this area is covered by any municipality. That's what I was trying yeah. to say. Um, so it just kind of gets neglected and especially on the beach as well, coming out this way, going coming north. I mean, no municipality covers it or funds the cleanup or anything like that. We need more volunteer effort to really, because it's beautiful, look at it. It's beautiful to really keep it nice. So we're out here, YouTube, and <laughs> so, subscribe. I mean, I, it's, it's awesome again that uh, you all just get together and, and explore and, have a good time, but at the same time, you're uniting and coming together for an awesome cause. Um, I, seeing all of these little bits and pieces of bottle caps and just plastic and um, aluminum cans, uh, and we're all the way out here. I, I've never been on this side of the island, so way up north. And to see this is still all the way uh, over here. It's crazy but it's so good to have people like you and and your friends that come out here every weekend every other weekend to to do this it's it's really awesome you take care of the beach more yeah. importantly mm -hmm. i mean even even the ones under you can barely notice well, under the ground or you can only see a little freckle of it you pull it out and you start seeing the whole bag of trash that's in there and and, and that the the turtles are, are actually feeding off yeah. of these uh these plastics people are showing us. You see these? These are uh, uh, turtle bites. And um, it's not, not only just soft plastic, there's bottles and other harder stuff that they're also binding. You can see the little diamond shaped mouth bites that they take. And it's, it gives you something to think about. You cannot be here and not get in the water. Victor! Look at all the fish. Right here, you see them? Look, look. Oh, you need the polarized glasses. The water was amazing, and we all decided to go in for a bit. Isn't that beautiful? That, that, that's mullet. Yeah, that's mullet. Look, look at this, look at this. It is so beautiful. The camera crews were limited on time, and they needed to get back to their cars. Samantha and I dropped them off and thanked them for covering the event. You can check out their reports on my new Facebook page, Coastal GX East Cut Adventures. Feel free to like it and follow us there. We're always posting good stuff. 
I didn't want to leave without thanking the volunteers and Costa cleanups, so I decided to head back to the East Cut in search of them. I also encountered a subscriber from Laredo who had never been to the East Cut. I volunteered to guide him and he followed along. I finally found Tanya and her friends as they were returning with a truckload full of trash. We did great work today, but unfortunately we saw volunteers and there's more trash. And I'm really upset right now, honestly, because we have nowhere to put the trash. There's no dumpsters, there's no trash cans, nothing's out here. There's a lot of Jeeps and four by fours without room in the back of the truck. So when we have 20 trucks out there and only three people can fit trash, um, we can only clean up so much. So we can't fit anymore, but we're really proud of the work we did. and. Um, we had awesome volunteers. It was a great day. People really want to come back, so I really hope we can do this again in the near future. Should be done on a monthly basis, even not even a weekly basis. Um, I'm, I was noticing on the line, uh, the sea line of the trash washing up, there's hundreds, if not thousands of pounds that are washing up daily and nobody's picking it up. That's why we put together Coastal Cleanups and teamed up with Coastal GX. Thank you so much for your support. Um, we're going to do the best we can. Every little bit helps and we got this, so that's a lot of trash. <laughs> I'm really proud of our team and everyone's really excited to come out again. We all want a clean beach. Uh, we're Costa Cleanups. We have a website and we also are looking for donations. We have a donations page. It costs a lot of money to do these things. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. So just reach out to us. We're going to um, try and start doing city beach cleanups on Sunday evenings. and. We're going to try and set up something and do this um, once a month, but just follow our pages, go to our website, um, feel free to email me, call me, whatever. We need the help and we love doing this. Um, one thing, there's a lot, of, a lot of things going on in the world, but there's not a lot you can do about some of the bigger issues, but one thing you can do is clean the beach. So something you get immediate results and it's very therapeutic and you know, you feel good at the end of the day. I feel great right now. I made a difference and I help encourage other people to come out here. It's awesome. So thank you so much for coming and watching this and hope to see you in the future. We guided Eddie, the new subscriber driving a brand new 4Runner all the way to the East Cut. We finally made it out here to the East Cut and it's amazing, man. I really appreciate you bringing us out here. Coming here now, it's definitely worth it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I was just telling her, when's the, when are we coming back? Like we, had, we hadn't even make, made it out here, but I'm trying to get into the whole, you know, camping, overlanding kind of deal. Um, I think it's great uh, just to be out there. I work a desk job. So for me, driving four hours to be out is, is not a lot. Get up, get out, do something, and subscribe to Coastal GX. Okay, we got Keith over here in this badass Raptor. He made it out all the way from Dallas. Keith, what do you think, man? What do you think of the East Cut so far? Oh, it's great. I uh, really enjoyed getting out here. I thought your information was very helpful. Uh, was out here a couple days ago, even caught a uh, little whiting. So I've got my trash bag I'm gonna pick up on the way back. Awesome, brother. Yep. That's, that's, that's good to go. Anything else you wanna add? No, thank you. All right. Again, keep up the good work. All right, thanks, man. It was time to head back after a long and gratifying day. Guys, if you made it all the way to this part of the video, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Also, Amazon has now made Coastal GX an associate. Please use my Amazon links in the description when you make any Amazon purchases. It will cost you nothing extra and the small commission makes it possible for me to keep the channel going. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you guys the next time I get up, get out and do something. <laughs>